Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And don't you be scared now. No, this is not Inception. No, it's not like I I bashed Tony in the head with the sledgehammer and just took over his channel. No, this is just a special little video I'm doing for his channel. And that is a roundup of the Comic-Con TV trailers that we got from Comic-Con. Now, I won't be talking about every single TV series, so don't expect like something like Vampire Diaries or something like that, like Scream Queens or anything like that. I'm mostly going to be talking about the comic book ones because... That's honestly my favorite genre of television is comic book, like comic book superheroes, because most of them are great, honestly. So let's not waste any time. Here we go. First being Legion, the new X-Men TV series. So, you know, Fox and Marvel decide to come come together and make an X-Men TV series 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 called Legion. Now, no, this is not based on that 2010 pile of horrendous garbage, Legion. This is actually based on an X-Men comic book, like I said, called Legion. Now, I'm not familiar with the Legion series. I really am not. But this definitely looks interesting. Mostly the thing that has my interest the most is Dan Stevens, because I'm so glad the dude's getting work because he's such a great actor. And I definitely can't wait for him to give a great, great performance in this series and i'm very very excited to see what he does and this just looks trippy like very very trippy like like you'll see like some um interesting like um mind stuff and then you'll see some random people doing a disco dance like it's just it looks really interesting and really weird i just can't wait for it and it's supposed to premiere in early 2017 so this should definitely be interesting it's gonna be on fx so i'm excited I think it will be really good. So that's my thoughts on the Legion trailer. Now we have a trailer to a show that apparently I'm the only one that's still defending and still says it's great because it is. And I don't get why so many people hate it. And that's the Arrow Season 5 teaser that we got. Um, Yeah, this kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, it wasn't anything special. It was just showing, you know... Oliver, he's going to be training three new recruits. He's going to be training the chick that tried to be uh, tried to pretend to be the Black Canary towards the end of Season 4. He's going to train this guy named Wild Dog. And he's going to train Curtis himself. So, this will definitely be interesting. And I really liked... I, I really liked some parts of the trailers. Like, definitely seems like the fight... I think it... The biggest positive I can give the trailer is that it definitely seems like it's going to be smaller scaled like the first two seasons and not go big and overbun like season three and season four. So I that's the biggest positive I can give. The only really shot I really liked the most was when uh, Errol just beats the living, just the crap out of um, all three of the members he's training. Just That was just awesome. I just love that. He just beats the crap out of them. But yeah, underwhelming trailer, honestly. I just didn't really care for it and i feel like i'm not going to care about this villain that they got it just seems like another dark archer type villain so yeah but, um that's my thoughts on the arrow season five trailer now we got our boy the fastest man alive the flash the flash season three teaser everyone's going crazy for this teaser and i'm just kind of meh about it honestly um it's not a bad trailer by any means it's not a bad trailer but at the same time it was like the Arrow trailer, very underwhelming, very just, and I'm kind of disappointed. This is not what I expected from a Flashpoint story, honestly. I get they're very limited because of what they can do with this story, but I kind of expected a little bit more. Uh, I know they just started filming, but I hope this is not the final product of the Flashpoint story. I hope there's a lot more to it than what we got in this teaser because I'm just kind of iffy about it right now. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I love that quote at the end where the reverse Flash goes, Who's the villain now, Flash? Who's the villain? Just, uh, that was great. That was probably my favorite part of the trailer. So, yeah. That was my thoughts on the Flash Season 3 trailer. Now let's get into what I think won Comic-Con, and that was the Marvel Netflix shows. Oh, 
okay, okay, holy moly. Like, this stuff was hitting me. Like, who remembers that episode of SpongeBob where Patrick just kept on getting hit with those snowballs? That's what basically these trailers were. These Netflix trailers were to me. They just kept on hitting and hitting at me so hard. Let's first talk about Luke Cage, which is coming this September, actually. Man, I want it to be September 30th already because this trailer got me pumped. Like, I just love how Luke Cage just comes in. He rips the car, he rips the car door off and just starts going ham and cheese on everybody. And it's just so awesome. He just breaks a machete like nothing. And just he's bulletproof, basically. I mean, this dude is just shooting him, like blasting him with bullets, and it's doing nothing to him. So it's just great. I can't wait for this series. Just it looks like tons of fun. Because just Luke Cage just beating the crap out of everybody. And it just looks awesome. And then I love that um quote at the end. Like, you do one thing great and all of a sudden you're Harlem's hero. And then the dude's laughing like, ha, ha, ha. And Luke Cage is like, oh, I'm just getting started. Like, I just love that. It was just such an awesome trailer. I love the music. The music fits so perfectly with this teaser. I really love the music to this teaser. Just great. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited for Luke Cage. Now, next up, we have Iron Fist, a show that I've been really interested in because it's very different. It's kind of like with Doctor Strange. It's very different from what Marvel has done. This deals with a lot of magic, sorcery. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know too much about the character of Iron Fist. Like, I knew who Luke Cage was. But I, I do know the character of Iron Fist because he appeared in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. And that's about it. But besides that, I don't really know his origin story. I don't really know too much about the character. All I know is, is that he's really good with magic and sorcery. That's about it. And uh, yeah, this teaser basically gave me what I wanted. Just a tease of what's to come. And just, you know, tease me about it. You know what I mean? And it, like, you know, we see in the beginning, like, we see what I'm guessing is his mom. Just, like, you know, basically just they're going to get into a plane, plane clash. And we see these two, you know, Chinese men or Asian men. Basically, I think they're just going to raise him. That's what it definitely seems like from this trailer. And, uh, you know, we see him in New York. He's run, walking around. We see him basically in a psycho home. And we see him break out. And, we see, and this voice says, hello, Danny. And then we see Iron Fist. And it was just a perfect way to give us a little bit of a tease of what's to come to this show, which I'm probably guessing comes out next year. It's going to come out before Defenders. I know that's for sure. So, yeah, Iron Fist looks great. I can't wait to see what they do with that show. Now let's get into the trailer that I've been waiting to talk about, okay? It's sad when a trailer that doesn't even show footage was better than all the trailers that came out at Comic-Con I'm talking about the Defenders trailer. Everything about this was so perfect. Holy moly. I haven't watched a trailer this much in a long, long time. Just everything about this trailer was perfect. I loved it. And just, like, we see a bunch of pages rip. You know, we see, like, you know, the Daredevil. Then we see Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. And then, of course... Oh, man, it was so perfect to have them play Come As You Are by Nirvana. That was just a perfect song to choose for this trailer. And and then you just keep on seeing the pages rip and rip, and then you see a hand, and it says defend. And then you hear Scott Glenn in the background. You th you think the four of you can save New York? You, you guys can't even save yourselves. And then you see the Defenders coming 2017. I'm just like... Oh, just that was just incredible. That was by far to me my favorite trailer from Comic-Con. It was just absolutely incredible. I loved this trailer. And like I said, they even show any footage. They even show any footage. And it got me so pumped. That's how you do a teaser. This trailer, this teaser was better than most teasers for movies. Because they did because they did their job. They're supposed to tease you about it. And that was great. I just loved it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the uh, Defenders teaser. So that's my thoughts on all the TV trailers for from Comic-Con 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, which is WWEFAN0599. I'm pretty sure Tony will have the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm WWEFAN0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace!